Yeah. So, now, for chess, as we talked about, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can see this is my exponent. So whenever you're solving, and if you can't, first thing before we do, whenever we solve an exponential equation, you always want to isolate your exponent. So the first thing I did is I subtracted 3 on both sides. 10 to the 4x minus 5 equals Nueva. Now, if I, I always want to do, can I use the 1 to 1 property? Because that's easy, right? I like the 1 to 1 property. You guys should be familiar with it and say, all right, always look to use the 1 to 1 property. But there's going to be times where you can't use the 1 to 1 property. So therefore, we have to say, all right, if I can't use the 1 to 1 property, then I need to get my x off of the off as being a power. So the only way to do that is to use my rules of logarithms. And so to do that, what I'm going to have to do is take the logarithm of the same base as the base of my exponent. I don't want to take log base 9. I want to take log base 10 so I can get the x off. So I do log, now base 10 of 10 to the 4x minus 5 equals log base 10. You're not going to have anything um, on this on, for on your quiz. You're just going to be using the 101 property. Shall we still use it? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Um, I'll probably give you guys at least the rules to go through. So when you guys are looking at this, remember log base 10 of 10 raised to a power. Well, log base 10 of 10 is equal to 1, right? And when it's raised to the power, it's just going to equal that power. So we're left with 4x minus 5 equals log base 10 of 9, which is really just log of 9. We don't really need to write the base 10. So now what you need to do is since you're dealing with log base 10, what you can do is you guys can just take the log of 9, which is 0 .9, 0 0.954. So if I round that, I have 4x minus 5 is approximately 0.95. Then add 5, add 5. 4x is approximately 5.95, then divide by 4.